We've been here in Istanbul for a few days now and there's seriously such an immense amount of things to do here. We're going to try and get quite a bit done today, see some of the really amazing main sites today and share them with you. To get to our first stop, we have to take the bus to a different neighborhood, but luckily they have a super good public transport system here, so it's been really easy to get around. around a city as much as we can instead of spending money on public transportation. But this is probably the largest city we've visited so far on this trip. So we ended up getting a public transit pass and it has been so convenient. All you do is you fill it up with some money at the metro station and then it's just a scan to touch on everything that we've used, the metros and the buses, and it's so easy to get around to different neighborhoods and we love it so much so far. For lunch right now we're heading to a restaurant called Mario's and it's a pretty popular restaurant from what we've seen. It's named after the fishermen who they get their fish from and apparently they make these like fish burrito type things that are supposed to have a really unique flavor so we're super excited to get there and try something. I really thought Marshall gave me misinformation because this definitely does not say Mario, but the menu does, so maybe I'm saved. <laughs> so the currency here is about 27 Turkish lira to one US dollar. The fish and the bread that Marshall's getting is 100 lira, so just a little over three US dollars. I mean, there's other stuff on here that's a little more expensive, but that's such a good price. Well, we messed up. <laughs> Our waiter came over before we were fully ready to order and we didn't see the like fish burritos on I didn't at least I didn't see the fish burritos on the menu but now I can see them on the wall over there and we did not order those so <laughs> I guess we're not we're not getting like the the most the special dish at least from what it seemed like on online but I'm sure everything will still be great but I was kind of excited to try the burritos <laughs> So the thing they're most famous for is actually a fish bottom, um, and it's like that um, tortilla wrap with some fish and other things inside. And I thought I was ordering that, but I actually got fish and bread, which is this. Um, hopefully it's as good, but a little disappointed that we didn't end up getting that. There's quite a bit of vegetables in the like sardines or something in it. Yeah, that's really good. Don't you have the bottom though? <laughs> I was really hoping after both of our meals we may be hungry enough to still order the specialty item that we were expecting to get here. I don't think I'm going to be hungry after this. This is so much bigger than I was expecting. I just got some brim. I'm sure it'll be great, but I think I'll be very stuffed afterwards. Well, I'm bummed we didn't get to try the fish durum there, but everything else was amazing. It was still a really great lunch. And if anybody has tried those, let us know what you thought of it. I really don't know what to expect from them, so I'm interested to hear someone's thoughts on it. And it looks like you can get them in other places. We just found that those at that restaurant were good, so we, that's why we we're going to go there. But um, they are not specific to that restaurant. We also learned that the fisherman is not named Mario. They just call him that because he looks like Mario, so that's cute. But that was a great lunch. I'm glad we went there, even though we didn't get the thing we went there to try. <laughs> Now after a few minutes of purely uphill walking, we've made it to our first stop. We just arrived at the base of the Galata Tower, and this tower is a massive skyscraper in the middle of the city. It was actually originally built in the 5th century, which is just absolutely insane. This isn't the original one, it was destroyed over the years and um, was taken over by a few of the different rulers of the area. But this one was completely restored in the 1960s and now it is just this massive tourist attraction. This huge tower that you can see from pretty much all over the city. I love how chaotic this place feels already. It feels very touristy. There's already a lot of tourists here, but there's also a lot of locals it seems just running around, running in the streets along with the cars trying to get through the narrow roads. Like, there's just so much going on and it's, I, this is such a cool feeling. <laughs> Oh my gosh, 
gosh. This is the first line. This is like an amusement park line. Yeah, I'm a little terrified to know what this would be like in the middle of summer. It, like, it went from totally local feel to 100% touristy as soon as we got up to the base of this tower. And we weren't super interested in going to the top to begin with. I was a little interested, but it's over $20 per person to go to the top. So I think that's going to be a hard pass for us today because we still have a lot a lot of stuff to go see and to go tour. So uh, not, not spending 40 bucks here. If it didn't immediately feel like a tourist spot already, I think this restaurant does it. That's painful. A lot of... He's tried to sell me some perfume. <laughs> yeah, definitely more of a scammy feel over here than we've had so far. So, cool view, but not great impressions here otherwise. Since we were at the tower, we decided we might as well hit this really cool looking staircase. It's pretty much like a curved staircase. It kind of looks like a, a wave going back and forth. What's interesting about it is we're right next to what is like the Banker Street, which was pretty much um, the Turkish response to America's Wall Street. And so one of the really uh, rich bankers right near here apparently commissioned this this staircase to be a shortcut for his kids to get to school. And the reason that it's so curvy and there's no sharp edges was that so that his kids would be more safe and wouldn't hit their heads on sharp edges if they fell. So we don't really know if that's true, but it's an interesting backstory and it leads us right into the Bankers Street, which is right here. It's not, ex not at all what I was expecting you to say about <laughs> it. <laughs> Especially considering the story of the staircase, assuming that it's true, I'm super surprised that staircase is as popular as it is. I mean, it's really cute, and I guess it is in a convenient location being very close to the tower, but it seems to be really popular, and I mean, I don't, I'm, I'm surprised at that, I guess. Well, we pretty much just went in a huge circle because we are pretty much exactly where the bus dropped us off before we got lunch. I don't see any food vendors. Marshall said there were food vendors on the bridge. Got my hand. There were supposed to be. Maybe you go under the bridge. Maybe. There's a lot of fishermen though, this is kind of cool. Okay, well I guess we're actually supposed to go one level down, I guess, so we're gonna try that. Yep, that, oh yes, oh. Oh, how cool. We didn't even see that when we walked up the first time. It's so cool how many moths there are in this temple. So you can see all the minarets, there's some over here, just here. More here, they're just, they're everywhere. So it seems like there's actual restaurants down here as opposed to street vendors. There's just full on restaurants under the bridge, yeah. along the whole bridge. We don't have a ton of experience with people being super pushy trying to get you to buy their products. Every single one of the vendors was trying to get us to come in and so if you want to just walk down here and not get any food, be prepared to say no to a lot of waiters trying to get, try, to, try to bring you into their restaurant. Ever since we've been here, we've been seeing tons and tons of Turkish flags and national symbols around here and we kind of just thought that was a normal thing. But it turns out that during our stay is actually the Republic Day of Turkey. And it commemorates the day that Turkey became a republic in 1923. Prior to that, it was the Ottoman Empire. But their leader, Ataturk, who ended up becoming their president after it became a republic, helps Turkey become a more uh, secularized, modern nation that um, they still celebrate today. So it's really cool and hopefully we'll get to attend the celebration that starts in just a few days. We just arrived at something that I've been really excited for and it seems to be something that'll be really, really cool. It's the final stop on the Orient Express rail line. This is something that I've been excited to share because I think my mom will really like it. It's really famous partially because of the Agatha Christie book, Murder on the Orient Express. The rail is not currently in operation and actually recently they took apart the tracks for it, but you can still go inside and there's a rail museum that shows what the rail cars would have been like at this time. And then there's also a cafe which is decorated in the same 
sort of era and just the building is really really cool starting out so I'm excited to go inside. Apparently the Orient Express ran from the early 1890s to about the 1960s. So a really long time. It's just awesome to think about the wealthy people who would have stopped here. It ran all the way from Paris to Istanbul. I wish we could take it. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so cool. We couldn't pass up the opportunity to get some Turkish coffee at the final stop of the Orient Express, right next to the sign that says the Orient Express. It's probably not original, but it's really cool and we love the ambiance here. Now that we left the train station, we're heading to somewhere that should be a pretty fun and interesting place. We're going to the Grand Bazaar. This is definitely one of the most world famous sites here, so it should be pretty awesome. After the bazaar, we're also going to hit the Hagia Sophia Mosque, which will just be absolutely insane. We saw it driving in, but um, when it, I think so. Well, I mean, well, that, you didn't that, tell me that. I that may not that. be true. There's some. There are just so many massive mosques throughout the city, so it definitely may not have been it. But women are supposed to wear a headscarf, so we're going to just pick one up. Porter. Porter for what? What? What are they porting? I was starting to think we were already walking through the Grand Bazaar with all of the street stalls and shops that we had been walking through for like the past 10 minutes. But nope, now we're here, now we're in it. The entrance to it is so cute, so cool. <laughs> so far it's just a ton, a ton of jewelry shops. I think that's the only thing we've passed so far, is jewelry shops. Jewelry and perfume. Half the time it smells like really strong perfume, half the time it smells like cigarettes. Yep. They are very serious about their tea here. There are so many guys walking around with trays of tea, just taking them around to all of the store owners. Just all the store owners, when they're not interacting with somebody, are sitting down with a cup of tea. It's seriously just like 24 seven, all the time that you're awake, people are drinking tea and I love it. If you come to Istanbul and you are looking to buy some souvenirs, this is a really cool place to do it. It's probably not the cheapest place that you can find them, but we did learn at least some of them, at least the guy that we talked to, was open to haggling down a price. So just keep that in mind if you want to get something, maybe don't accept the first price you hear. One more thing that I meant to mention at lunch and just completely forgot to, there are some popular scams that are kind of different from other cities that we've been in. One of which is when you're eating at a restaurant, they may bring out bread or drinks or something that you didn't ask for. In other places, those have kind of just been complimentary, but here it seems like that's kind of a way that they just secretly try to add more to your bill. And we've definitely already had that happen to us a handful of times. So if you do come here, just be careful of eating things or drinking things that you didn't order if you don't want to pay for it. Even though they put the bread on our table, if we don't eat it, they haven't charged us for it. And if they do try to charge us for it, we just ask them to take it off the receipt. And so far that's been fine. But yeah, check your receipts, be mindful of that, and just be careful. Give it to you. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> we realized we were both very hungry, so we made a detour to get a kebab. And some baklava. This is such a nice, beautiful park that has so many seating areas. This would be such a great place to come and read. Like, honestly, 
I kind of want to come here tomorrow and read. This is just such a nice place with such amazing views. Everywhere you look, right here, turn around, right here. No matter where, what bench you choose to sit on, no matter which way it's facing, you're going to have pretty great views. So to go into the Hagia Sophia, you have to wear, women have to wear headscarves. So I picked one up earlier today and I just checked one of the vendors here to see if they jacked up the price at all. And I guess we weren't necessarily in a not touristy spot in the place where I got mine, but definitely a little less touristy than, you know, right here. But they actually were the same price. I was very surprised with that. So if you come here and you forget to get a headscarf until you are right here in front of it, it's not, at least those guys did not try to rip me off unless both of them were trying to rip me off. But it was 100 lira, so $3, a little over $3. It's not bad at all. <laughs> seen so many videos and yeah it was pretty fun <laughs> you probably can't tell on camera but this like looks fuzzy like it looks like a velvet oh there you go like a velvet rope kind of the consistency Weird. is so strange it's like chewy strange. almost <laughs> it kind of tastes or it kinda, almost almost has a consistency of mochi almost yeah it's like kind of like a, it's like slightly rubbery if you haven't yeah. had mochi, mochi is kind of like a chewy, rubbery, kind of what this is like. Weird. <laughs> I'm pretty positive I did not put this on right, but we are covered up and ready to go inside. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. being in there during prayer time and then we learned that men and women actually do not pray together which yeah. we didn't know so yeah only i was able to go fully into it but you could still see pretty much yeah. everything yeah well, it's still very much an open area um but yeah that was our first interaction of like me not being able to do something that we're to do which i mean we've known is a thing that i should prepare for but this was our first example of that but if it wasn't prayer time it would have been something yeah, we could about do yeah so that was interesting, just something to be aware of because people were like, they weren't getting yelled at, but like if the women were trying to go into the prayer area, they were very assertively being told men only, which is kind of harsh, but, or like the way they were saying it was kind of harsh. But, but yeah, I'm so, I can't believe we were able to go in there. That's so amazing. That's, that, like, looking at it from the outside is amazing, but being in there under is just, indescribable i don't know this was such a perfect way to end the day and i'm so happy we still have a few more days in the city we are actually tomorrow we are leaving our airbnb on the european side and moving over to the asian side of the city which is it's gonna be crazy cool. it's gonna be our first day on the asian continent which is just wild. we're actually we're, we're, yeah yeah for that that is gonna be wild but we're actually gonna come back for one of the days to do like our, our own sort of food tour and we'll definitely make a video on that but this has been a super cool city and we're so excited that we have more time here but that's going to be it for this video and we'll see you probably in the food tour next <laughs>